Rachel from Queen Bee Properties, and you're watching Rach Knows Real Estate. Today I want to talk about buying a foreclosure as your homestead. I was talking to a friend the other day, and she's not an investor, but she's wanting to take advantage of just the opportunities that are available with the foreclosures today for her family. So it dawned on me that I need to um, kind of tackle this from the perspective of a retail buyer and not just from investors, because it is a little different and um, the process is looked through a different lens. That being said, um, I want to kind of say beforehand, each state is different in their foreclosure process. So if you're buying a property out of state or you're investing in a different state, you need to make sure that you research those laws. The time frames may be different, um, the judicial system may be different, as well as the terms that they use. Okay. All that being said, Texas is a non-judicial state when it comes to foreclosures, which means the process does not go through the court system, which is a good thing. It goes a little faster, and really the only people involved are the banks, um, you know, the loans that are involved, um, as well as some attorneys and that type of thing. But you're not having to go through the court system as well. So, um, I just kind of wanted to note that. There are three different ways, although there are probably other ways as well, but I'm going to focus on three main ways of how to get a foreclosure property and where to find them. Um, most people know about the bank REOs, and you know of those just because you find them through the MLS. Those are the typical listings where they'll have those foreclosure kind of lists, people that you can sign up and put money into, and then they give you the foreclosure list. And, and those are fine. Typically, those are a little late in the game. Um, but that being said, that's one way to find foreclosures. They aren't always good deals, so you need to do your research, and I'll talk about that later. But that's one way to find them, through a real estate agent just looking through the MLS. Um, another way to find foreclosures is through the tax liens. Um, people that just haven't paid their taxes or weren't able to pay their taxes, sometimes they own a business and the business you know, doesn't do well or whatnot, and their taxes are larger than they can pay. And so they end up taking the house as um, an effect of not paying their taxes. So those tax lien foreclosures are usually a great deal, and those are situated through the county. They're not always on MLS or listed, or there's no realtors typically involved with those. There's also HOA, believe it or not, um, foreclosures, if someone just hasn't paid their HOA dues. And, you know, it sounds silly because they just may be a hundred, couple hundred dollars, but if people haven't paid them for multiple years in a row, that can add up, and it, it seems like a huge sum to some people if they just can't catch themselves back up, so the property gets foreclosed on. And those properties, usually it doesn't take much to catch them back up um, and, and be able to take that property for yourself, so those are usually great deals. Um, I just wanted to note a couple things about that, though. If you're doing... If you're buying a foreclosure property through a tax lien or through an HOA lien um, sale, you want to make sure that the process is done correctly because there is a redemption period on those types of foreclosures. In Texas, it's 180 days that they can come back and try and catch up um, those loans or that lien or the taxes that they need to pay. So just be aware of that. Um, and the tax sales, they do go over that with you and you would get interest if they end up buying it back, so it's not always a negative thing. Um, but if you're trying to buy it for your family, you just want to take note of that um, in terms of weighing the situation. I think that's all I'm going to talk about today because um, I want to get into some more details about looking at if it's a good deal or not um, and kind of what you need to do next in the process. But I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to stop there for today. And this is Rach from Rach Knows Real Estate.